Hey everyone, it's Nova and before we start, if you found this video helpful or enjoyed this video at all, make sure you lick that subscribe button. We are super close to 5k and once we hit 5k at the end of this month, we'll be doing every community day Sundays, every single Sunday. So let's get right into showing you guys the best to worst armor for 0.7.0 with as much understanding and information as I was able to grab. The goal of this video is to show you guys what gives you actual protection, especially against the most common rounds in the game so far. So the guns we'll be testing is the Glock 17 chambered in 9mm, the M4 chambered in 5.56, and the AK chambered in 7.62. Now, we are going to only be using FMJ and we're only be using armors that you can buy from Menti. We are not testing the Collector's R61 for the fairest test possible. And we won't be using AP or Tracer ammo again for the fairest test possible. So let's get into this. The LBAV. Now with the LBAV only having 25 to 45% chance of penetration with 9mm, and a 85 to 95% chance of penetration with 5.56, and even the AK having the same amount of penetration as the M4, but I'm gonna honestly give this a D tier, mainly because it is only good if you're going up against somebody with nine millimeter or lower, but anything else, it shreds right through. Next is the JPC2. Now, this was kind of a mixed bag because I heard some people say it's good and other people say it's kind of bad. But with this having a 5 to 24% chance of penetration with 9 mil and a decent amount of penetration with it being a 64 to 80% chance of penetration with 556 five, and it exactly being the exact same actually with 762 even. So I'm going to honestly kind of give this a C tier, kind of like a C minus to be honest, because you could still somewhat have a fighting chance if the bullet decides to bounce off. But we all know it's a bore. It's a glitchy game. So who knows if that bullet is even going to bounce off at all. But anyways, let's move on. Now, this one is kind of my favorite, the Vest B. Now, with this only having a 5% chance of penetration with 9 mil, which is insane to me, but also through some tests, we actually did come to find out that it has a 25 to 44% chance of penetration against 556, which is kind of actually pretty good. And it also having a somewhat similar percent with 762 with it only being 25 to actually 55 percent chance if you're using 762 with the AKM of course um, or even an SKS if you prefer I'm gonna honestly give this a C tier because you honestly can get shredded up if you're coming across somebody with a 762 drum mag because at that point all them shots are most likely gonna go through especially if they're using AP but if you're using a drum mag and you're not using AP at all what are you doing before we continue on I wanted to take a second and shout out my beloved members average world-renowned leopard Arab guy and also the guy is bored and scuba otter thank you guys for being amazing supporters of the channel and also if you do want to join you getting exclusive access to coaching sessions that i personally privately host and also access to early content and also even access to my latest videos and new videos that are coming up and you get to play with me on stream anytime you want so think about it the join button is right next to the subscribe button but also while you're down there go ahead and subscribe with the rambling out of the way, let's move on to the 6B01. My bad, did I say the 6B01? I meant the 6B02. Now, with this kind of having the same percent chance as the Vest B, it is kind of actually good. Now, with it only having a 2% chance of penetration against 9mm, it was insane to me when I found this out. And it also having a 15 to 20% chance against somebody with 5.56, and it also having kind of a weird percent chance of 30 to 55% chance of uh, penetration against 7.62, which is kind of pretty good but again it's kind of the same category as the vest b if you have somebody that's running a drum or ak ap ammo which is 762 ap then you're kind of dead unless you just hit your shots or unless they just have bad aim but overall i kind of put this inside of a category kind of like a c plus or even a b because that's kind of good, but it's kind of in the same category as the Vest B. So you know what? I'm gonna give this a C tier. 
now we are saving the best for last the 6b43 boys this thing honestly is kind of insane nine millimeter stands no chance with it only having a one percent chance of penetration which is really fucking insane to me personally and even 556 five, only having a seven percent chance of penetration as you guys can see here but oddly enough 762 comes around the corner and punches the 6b43 in the fucking face with its 10 to 15 percent chance of penetration guys but we also did some weird testing and the shoulder pads have no protection on the 6b43 guys let me just make this clear the shoulder pads have no protection on the 6b43 you guys but for some odd reason the hips on this thing have the same protection rate as the front plate and even the back plate so if you're running this thing try your best to get inside of their face and make them shoot at your chest because you'll have the best chances of survival with 556 and 9 mil if you're going against 762 with the drum you kind of have a high percent chance to live if you can hit your shots but if they can hit more of their shots and they just get a lucky headshot then it's kind of over for you depending on what you're wearing on your head which will actually be next week's video guys so anyways i just wanted to say a big thank you to my beloved member average for helping me out with this video dude thank you so fucking much man and also have a nice day or night wherever you are peace